Hello YouTube and welcome to Turmoil in the Toy Box. I'm your host Aaron Hauser and today we'll be reviewing the NECA 18 inch Robocop. This is by far one of the cooler of the uh, cult classics 18 inch series the NECA released. As far as accessories goes it includes his gun, um, a additional hand attachment so that you can have him hold his gun, uh, I don't have the original hand that comes with it shown here, but it's just kind of the same as his opposite hand. As far as articulation goes, this thing is very flexible. It's got uh, like a ball joint in the shoulder, rotates in and out, um, rotation at the elbow, which is a little stiff on this one, rotation at the wrists. It's got a ball joint in his hip actually, so that can swivel in and out articulation at the knee and at the ankles there. It's also got this kind of cool feature, the sort of pneumatic looking pistons on the back of his uh, heels. I would caution you, these are kind of fragile, so you know, don't be flexing this a lot if you're playing around with it just because these feel like they could snap off, which would be kind of a bitch to have to glue back into place. Um, articulation in the head, very flexible, I like this a lot, it's got kind of a ball joint that also pivots up and down very nicely so you can get some very cool traditional sort of Robocop poses with that, which looks very nice. The paint application on this is very cool. It's I like it because it doesn't have that strong purplish tint that I've seen a lot of these Robocops have. It, it's kind of more subdued, but he's definitely got that kind of bluish silver look to him which looks really cool. The detailing is really nice. Everything from, like I said, the little, you know, details on the, the legs and the arms. Um, everything to his gun, which looks really, really cool. And the head. It actually looks a lot like Peter Weller. I know that sounds kind of silly because you can only see the lower half of his face, but it, it still looks a lot more like the figures, or like the, uh, like the Robocop from the film than, say, the McFarlane ones, which I've seen. Um, but he also has the um, motion activation with the sound. If you can turn it on. Public trust. Protect the innocent. Uphold the law. Your move, creep. Better alive. You are coming with me. Come quietly or there will be trouble. Clarence Boddicker, you are under arrest. Thank you for your cooperation. Good night. So yeah, you kind of get a feel for that. But it's a very cool figure. Um, this one is a bit harder to find, but I have heard rumors that NECA was going to try to re-release an 18-inch of this. Um, seeing as how they re-released, or re-released, uh, their 7-inch version, which was the exact same model as this one, just smaller. It'd be cool if they re-released the 18-inch. This is definitely worth the price if you can find it. Um, Normal 18 inches they run for anywhere about 50 bucks to 100. This one runs for about two to 300 now, depending on where you get it. Um, I was able to snag this one for 50 dollars, brand new in box on eBay, which was nice. But yeah, if you're a big Robocop fan or you like collecting the uh, the NECA 18 inch figures, I would definitely recommend this one. It's definitely got some really cool audio clips as well as the detailing and everything for this. It's a very, very cool piece. So, yeah, that's about it. As always, thanks for watching.